Hey guys, and welcome in. Today's vlog is going to be a little bit different, but I got a request to do a review on a application that I talked about on a video about the app that I use to email my dispatcher uh, my paperwork, and it's called Document Scan. You will see it in the screen here on the right hand corner, almost at the bottom there, second one from the bottom. So we're just going to do a simple review of it. I'm just going to open it up and I've just got a fuel receipt here just to take a picture of it. And I always make sure I have my flash on. And you can go ahead and crop, crop the picture the way you want it to the size where you want it to be. And I'm just doing this as an example. There you can see it really nicely and clearly. Just go ahead and click on save. And let's say I want an additional document, so let's just go ahead and take another picture. Let's just crop that there a little bit. There you go, just hit save. See, no, I'm done. No, not that button there. Go ahead and click on that folder there. And I, I took four pictures, I took two already earlier. So if I want to go ahead and email them, to my dispatcher I go ahead and click on this button right here on the left hand corner all the way at the bottom where you see that square with the arrow click on that and it gives you the option to email or upload it to your photo album or whatever you want so click on email and it gives you the option to uh, send as a PDF file or JPEG and just click whichever one you want and it will give you your uh, your email address or we'll open up your email server and you can just email it just like that and I also figured I would uh, go ahead and talk about some of the other apps that I uh, I think that should be used on a daily basis for truckers here you can see the uh, pilot app and that one is a pilot flying J I go ahead and click by nearby locations and I usually go ahead and on the bottom go ahead and click on uh, map and let's say I want to know in Grand Forks right here about the Flying J right there so I click on the little I there and it will give me details about their location and uh, what the fuel price is what kind of you know uh, if they have DEF fuel lines if they got a CAT scale it shows it right there all the things that they got, what kind of restaurant they got all the way here at the bottom so I think that's a pretty cool app, also same thing with the Loves app you know you can find a truck stop and these are probably pretty standard uh, pretty standard apps for some of you but uh, you know maybe for some of my viewers that uh, didn't know these apps existed just figured to show you guys a little bit and you can you know find out what the fuel prices are in these locations and stuff and and one thing I've noticed the TA and Petro they don't actually call their app TA or Petro they call it truck smart you see right there it says truck smart and this one is a little different to operate than some of the other ones are so you go ahead and click on site and then click on map and it will pop up all the locations that are across North America of Petros so there you go, there you can see, let's say there's one in Fargo and you can get some detailed uh, information on them too but the Fargo app, ha I mean the uh, Petro and TA app has taken out their uh, fuel price they used to have it in here as well but they no longer have it in there so and then I, of course I got the blue beacon and I got the cat scale and, and if you are on a smaller road or something like that or for somebody that's maybe uh, in, a, in a car or something traveling somewhere and if you just want to find a gas station or or even if you want to find a truck stop I have an app called Trucker Patch there it is Trucker Patch and uh, once that opens up right here on the right you can select which locations you want it to show you it even tells you you know you can even select hotels fuel scale truck wash all that kind of stuff you know it gives you plenty of options in there and uh, it even shows you the way stations in there let's say if I go to Fargo I zoom in a little bit here and I want to know see there's a Walmart right there Fargo Walmart don't want to know anything about it right now but just wanted to show you guys a little bit and that's where the Flying J is 
if I want to see some information about the Flying J, I just click on that little red uh, red icon right there, and then I click in the white section where the name is, and it will open up uh, this page, and it will show you exactly how far it is, and all that stuff. It shows you if there's overnight parking, how many spots there are, if they got a scale, they got nine showers available. They got one fuel line that's got uh, DEF, and they got internet, tire care, and all that good stuff. And you can actually click right here, load the restaurants. It shows you what kind of restaurants are in the area. And also here at the bottom, you can select load reviews, and it will actually give you reviews of what people have said about their location, you know. So it's actually a pretty, pretty decent app. I really, really like it. Let me go back here and show you some other things here as well for the scale for instance uh, when you see this green W that means it's a way station and you can usually click on it and it will open up and uh, it will give you some information on you know if there's overnight parking there and it usually sh it says here change status and the status was updated here at 2.09 p.m. today and you can usually go ahead and click on it and it will say if the scale is open or not so drivers can actually update this and uh, people that are checking out this app can uh, can see if the scale is open or not now it probably isn't hundred percent accurate but just gives you an idea you know like if you're looking for a Walmart or or anything like that you know you can go ahead and click on there and it will tell you if there's overnight parking or not you know some some locations they do have overnight parking but others do not see there is a rest area right there you can see how many spots there are over there and that's just why I really like this you know because that that way it will, will show you all kinds of information that you might want to know about uh, let's say a truck stop or a Love's or I mean a Walmart or anything like that you know let's say this Fargo doesn't allow any parking overnight either I don't know why no no parking in the Walmarts over here but <laughs> I guess they don't want trucks in there uh, same thing with this one or maybe the app is just not 100% updated you know sometimes it is the case but that's just this scale over here and I might be talking about this too much here right now but anyways that's just some of the apps that I really do enjoy also do have this Volvo locator because I do have a Volvo and it will show me where a Volvo dealer is I click on the little I there and it will tell me their phone numbers their email address website directions address you know all that good stuff so it's just really some of these apps that that I would use on a daily basis as a truck driver and this is one of my most important app that I would say every owner operator should probably have this particular app and on the top section here of the graphic you will see the graphics of how much I paid for fuel and uh, let me open it up here it shows you the average fuel mileage I just let you know you can slide back and forth and this one shows you what the best fuel mileage is that I did and this is in US miles per gallon it shows you the average in the center and on the bottom it shows you what my worst fuel mileage was and this is what the fuel price is that's the best average and and the lowest fuel price that I paid and this is how many cents per mile uh, or I've, I've set it up for kilometers but you can change it in the settings for miles as well and this is what I've been doing on average per day but also if you go scroll up a little bit it shows you here right here at the bottom it shows you the estimate uh, estimation uh, for distance how many gallons per year you might be using also monthly and the fuel price and all that stuff you know that's just an estimation uh, though and you can go on the bottom here and you can see what I've been doing on fuel mileage here for the last little while and it shows you like all the details like what I paid for per gallon how many gallons I filled how far I went that I do have in kilometers how many cents uh, it cost me per kilometer 
and all that good stuff you know so it just gives you a rough idea you can even have expenses on here road trips and it has all kinds of settings and this one is really nice because it allows you to uh, to actually uh, set it up so you can do backup you can sync it with uh, Dropbox or iCloud whatever you want and uh, right here at the right hand corner on the top no not the right hand a left hand corner of the top of this app you got them three bars right there and you click on that and you can choose different profiles as you can see I already had 2014 in here and I have 2015 and the uh, Volvo one that was from 2013 so I never never uh, low, uh, uh, put the label right I guess but see and then you can go ahead and click on that and you can see the graphics for uh, for 2014 on and this is the average that I did it, uh, that year I did 6.41 miles per gallon US miles per gallon on average that year I'm just going to change it back to 2015 so this is what I've been doing this year so far on average but anyways those are some of the favorite apps that I've been using to uh, to truck you know to keep me in business and all that stuff just some of the apps that I got on my iPhone and I was using this I record all the way here on the right hand corner of the bottom of the screen to record my screen with but that didn't seem to work really good so I started using this other app right here and uh, I'll probably leave a link down below where you can download this uh, screenshot recorder for the iPhone and uh, you can go check it out yourself if you want to record your uh, your screen of your phone or whatever you know and you can download these two apps that you see right here and they work uh, they work together to record your screen and that's about all I got so thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next one Trucker Rudy signing out behind me that day is gonna come